Hey guys, I'm Tomasz Kopp, an executive producer working in Lords of Fallen. I'm gonna show you some of the brand new gameplay, including new boss fight. Thanks for uh, joining us today. How's it going? Yeah, pretty good. How's things with you? Not bad, not bad. I'm really happy to be able to show the game to everybody so close to completion. Yeah, so we're literally only, what, six weeks away now? Around that, definitely, yeah. It's 31st of October, so... Yeah, you nailed it. Six weeks around that, yeah, yeah. So what are you going to show us now? Right now we're going to show you a new demo, including a new boss fight. And also, since this is uh, uh, around like 40% into the game, we're going to have a lot more gear. Uh, some of the toys that we have are going to be unlocked. For example, Magical Gauntlet. We're going to be using a different modes of that Gauntlet, and it's going to be doing different things, different types of attacks. We like to call Gauntlet a medieval BFG. We think it's a really uh, name that gives it justice. And yeah, also there's a heavy shield. We were not showing a heavy shield before. And this is also a warrior type of uh, character leveled up right now. So uh, I'm just, I'm just going to show you how it feels like to play a warrior who's not technically relying a lot on rolling, but more on blocking. Let me see what types of Gauntlet I have so that I can actually use it. I have fiery explosive gauntlet, I have a magical projectile, and I have a blast magical. I think I like my blast magical gauntlet because what it allows me to do is to steal health from my opponents. And also I have a couple weapons, a uh, great axe, a sword, and the sword that I actually got from fighting the very first boss in the game. So let's try this one. Let's see if I can block his attacks. Not bad. I got just slightly staggered. There you go. The combo actually got me way more staggered. Oh, I think I, I forgot to turn the developer mode off. So here we go. Okay, now. That was actually the attack. It sends a shockwave. Similarly to what the boss did that yielded the sword. Let me see if I can get a potion. This enemy is interesting because, you know, I'll change the weapon for a sec. And the sword. All right, I'll, uh, I'll try Great Axe then. All right, all right, all right, let me heal real quick. And I'll grab it in both hands. I can technically still block with a with a great axe if I want to. Now let me see if I can get him hurt real bad. Almost. Okay. Interesting thing. When you try to kill this guy, he's gonna regenerate. Because unless you destroy his heart, it's lying right here in this vase. He's gonna be pretty much immortal. There we go. One more interesting thing. Let me see. If I can get a chain of attacks on this guy, but uh, I gotta prepare for this. Because when I use weapon like a uh, great axe, I can actually chain my attacks into a whirlwind. Oh, almost. He got staggered. But okay. Maybe then. I'll try to use a jumping attack. That didn't work quite well. Right now, maybe I can finish him up. Alright, wasn't too bad. Requires a little bit of uh, tactics, to be honest. I actually thought it would be easier, but okay. Luckily, we got him. I was low on health, so I just gotta save real quick to get my potions refilled. And with the same gear, I'm just thinking, maybe I should use a gauntlet. I wasn't using a lot. Uh, maybe I can use Gauntlet to steal health from this opponent. <coughs> I just gotta get a hit. He doesn't really have a great aim, in case you've not noticed. Yeah, once I get hit, I actually crafted my Blast Gauntlet with magic, and that kind of steals health from the opponents. Oh, and I missed him. Alright, you know what? I'll show it to you later. On the boss fight. <laughs> it's not really relevant now. Yeah. 
let's see the boss fight and first let's try to get this guy down he's got a l quite a couple interesting tricks up his sleeve and i'm gonna try i mean it's a boss fight quite challenging one but i'm gonna try to walk you through it while uh, i play it uh, let's see if I die. And once again, my main tactics is going to be try to maintain my stability, regenerate my energy, and block rather than roll and evade. Oh yeah, and that's the infiltrator, guys. Okay, one, two, three. And here's a huge pause that I can try to use to hit his legs. If I actually manage to hit his legs, uh oh, I'm gonna get hit. But my armor mitigated most of that, not bad. Okay. If I hit his legs enough times, they're gonna lose the armor, which is very useful. There you go. Because it actually takes quite a lot away. Oh, I got hit when trying to jump. Maybe now. That's some serious damage, as you can see. I think I should be okay. Let's see if I can steal some of his health with my magical gauntlet. Oh, just right into the strike. Okay, once again, what I'll try to do is to... Okay, and now, steal some health. Oh, I don't have the magical energy. Okay. I'm gonna have to wait until my magical energy regenerates. Or maybe I have the consumable. There you go, I should have it. It's gonna speed up my magic energy regen. So I'll be able to use a gauntlet. Maybe now. Oh no, not now. I think I have a. Okay, almost there, guys. Bear with me. There we go. Some health back to me. Not bad. Oh, I just lost it. Okay, you know what? I won't be trying to show off. I'll try to be effective right now. Maybe that's a better strategy against this guy. Especially since fighting warrior. Oh, and he stunned me. And is he gonna get me? Unless I roll perfectly. Wow, that was lucky. I gotta use a potion. Try not to get hit by these. They stun me. Now use a potion and once again. One, two, and a heavy strike. Okay, I think we're almost almost past the first phase of this fight. Which means, there you go, he's gonna come into another type of attacks. He's gonna start spamming these plants that he throws uh, throws around. They have two uses basically. Uh, some of them grow into a regenerative sort of plugs, sort of outlets that he can uh, get his part of his health back from. Some other ones actually uh, grow into offensive ones that poured me off. There you go, he's trying to plug himself into it. Let me see if I can mitigate the damage that he's going to be healing and get this one out of the way. There you go. Alright, that's some damage. Let me heal quick. Maybe I can get one more strike in. Alright, not too bad. And I got hit. Okay, I just wasn't careful enough and didn't react on time. I'm also thinking, I have a magical attack bound to my shield. Maybe I can use that. Let me see. I would need to use... Oh, I definitely have to heal first. Almost forgot to look at my health. Okay, now... Magical energy regeneration. Oh, he's gonna be... Okay, not too bad. Real quick. Health potions, please. And my shield attack. Maybe I can use it. In just a sec. It might sound a little boring because I'm trying to talk and play at the same time, which is not easy. I think this shield doesn't have the attack implemented. But it doesn't matter. Let me try to get to this guy. Alright, so I'm trying to make up for the amount of health that he regenerates from these plants. And at the same time, I don't have potions anymore. Okay. 
That is tricky, but he's still spamming the regions uh, plans. Hitting me in the meantime. Maybe. Alright, we're almost there. Just gotta make sure. There we go. There we go. Not enough energy. Maybe now. One block, second block. Alright, should be good. That was a close one. That was a close one, guys. Uh, summing up, what we try to make sure about each boss fight in a game is that there are certain dynamics to it. Something changes throughout the boss fight. And that each boss has a special type of tricks and of elements uh, to him. Once again, we get a lot of reward for killing the boss. There's going to be a badge that rewards us as well, and so on and so on. And one more last thing that I want to show you is an interesting story tidbit uh, that happens right after this fight. There was a, an NPC, a character, demonic one, depicted in the opening cutscene and the ending cutscene of this boss fight. It's actually one of the story characters. It's the... Uh, there we go. Uh, and I'm not even talking about this woman standing in here. She's also a story character, but we're not going to uh, talk to her right now. I'm going to pick up the reward. There's a special weapon. And there uh, is a demonic character, and it's the only demon that we can actually talk to in a game. He's got his own side quest, and he's going to try to explain to us what this side quest is about, but in his own demonic language. It's interesting how we try to implement the demonic language that somehow tries to speak to a character who speaks English, which is Harkin. Let's see how that works. Crook. Crook not kill Rock. Give me a good reason why I should have killed you right now. Crook not kill Rock. Uh, so apparently there's a reward for something. Reward. Let's see. For what? Go on. Crook. Ring skull. Trick human skull. Rohak reward. What need yeah, have you for human skulls? Make potion crack. Pain or it stop. Cry. Give crack shield. Rock room spell on shield. Dragrion, fifteen skull aurora. Okay, okay, okay. So let's give him the skulls that we are. You know I'll what? See uh, let's accept the quest Crook. and go ahead. Uh, when players explore the game up until that point, they actually find these skulls in here. They are somewhere in. I think it's in. Yeah, there we go. Uh, there's a human skull that you can find uh, around the... It's You find these in the human realm. And you... From the beginning, you don't know what to do with them, but it turns obvious right now. All right, that's pretty much it. Uh, I just wanted to show you... <laughs> I just wanted to show you a new boss fight. I just wanted to show you another part of the game. This is the demonic realm, a place that we call Abandoned Temple, and a completely new strat. It's quite heavy, quite slow, but as you can see, deadly effective as well. That's Lords of the Fallen. Thanks for watching. Why not subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the link on the screen now?